Welcome to a new video in my home automation playlist and today I'm going to show you a new Shelly product and this is the Shelly Plus H&T and this is a, hu a temperature and humidity sensor for some reason I always want to say temperature first but here is humidity first anyway so this is a humidity and temperature sensor which well it measures the temperature and the humidity in your room and uh, because it's a Shelly and it's uh, connected to Wi-Fi this can report all these readings to your uh, Shelly application which is running on your mobile phone it can also you know integrate with your home automation system for example if you have home assistant but just like with any, any Shelly device it can also communicate to other devices directly so you can sh set up some automations in your application that if the temperature or the humidity reaches a certain uh, level then it triggers another device let's say a relay which has some fans connected to it but this being Shelly this also works by you know integrating these devices using simple URL calls so this Shelly can just call a URL and that URL happens to be one of the one of your Shelly relays then it can just turn the turn that relay on and off and I really like this feature because if you need a simple automation, you can just have these Shelly devices talking directly to each other without having any servers or cloud connection or you know subscription, anything like that. So even a little local uh, network where you don't have an internet, this would work and uh, it would work just fine. Again, uh, just showing the differences in size between the original one and the new one. And as you can see, it has a shiny uh, plastic case and the well the big screen and also a kickstand so it sits comfortably on a desk and since I was talking about this e screen uh, e ink screen I just wanted to open this up uh, because uh, this is how you get access to the batteries this unit runs on four AA batteries and I'm not really sure why it is four batteries um, it certainly gives a weight to this device uh, maybe because they had the big space behind the screen anyway they thought that they can give it some extra life this old model runs on a CR123A coin cell and this pretty much lasts about a year or uh, 10 months or something like that so with this one even though it has a screen I know most of the power is usually taken up by the radio and it's communicating to the Wi-Fi so this should give it plenty of juice and if I remove the battery you can see that the screen stays on so that's my proof that this is an e-ink display and if I put the battery back you can see how the e-ink display is refreshing the usual pattern that it deletes the screen and it, it sets it again so that's all about the e-ink display I think it's great uh, it is definitely easy to read there is no backlight so if it, it is getting dark then you know there's no backlight or anything like that but uh, in daylight even if the sun shines on it it is perfectly readable but if you don't like batteries for any reason there is also a USB-C connection so you can power this from a USB-C as well and that's pretty much it I don't want to spend too much time on pairing because pairing this uh, Shelly Plus was just like pairing any other devices so I've already done that and I put it into my test room so if I scroll down now you can see that my new Shelly H&T Plus is here in the devices on the top you can see the temperature you can see the humidity battery percentage and there is also like a date and time when it was last communicating with the server which was just now and here you have two graphs one for the humidity and one for the temperature you can change it to weeks to show a day or a week or a month and I just have it for about a couple of weeks so I don't have an awful lot of history but you can see the minimum and the maximum temperatures each day this is how it aggregates these values and then you can do the same for the for the humidity so if you want if you do monthly then it shows you uh, um, a month of data and aggregate it by day and if you go back to a day obviously it will show you you know more details as, as and when the temperature changes it's not going to be as granular as a sensor which is uh, uh, connected to the internet all the time you also have download buttons so you can download this data if you want to and well I mean it's a sensor it shows data it shows it in a graph so that's pretty much it so let's go into the settings 
So in the settings, in the sensor, you can configure the temperature unit, so you can change it between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And you have a threshold value for temperature and the humidity. And that basically controls how much this device communicates over the internet. So it will um, send updates to the server if the temperature changes by half a degree or, by, or the humidity changes by 5%. So depending on your application, you can increase these numbers or lower these numbers that would affect, uh, that would definitely impact your battery life. So maybe if you are running this on a USB, you can just re, uh, reduce these values to the minimum uh, values and you get more um, frequent updates. And um, let me just leave the web hooks to the last and I'll just go into this, uh, the rest of the settings. So in networks, you can configure two Wi-Fi and you can well enable the cloud which is enabled now so i can always see this uh, uh, device on my shelly app even if i'm not at home and i've also configured mqtt and it works great it sends the messages or the, all the updates into mqtt and talking about that i think it's going to be um, probably too much so i will cover this in a separate video you have the usual things in the application settings you can share this device for other users and you can do, you know, change the device name, update the firmware, which actually I have, so I should do that. And then, you know, reboot the device, that sort of stuff. And let's go to the web hooks. So these web hooks were originally called um, the, I think, action URLs, but now they are called web hooks. So as I said, you can configure Shelly so that some, when something happens with the temperature and the humidity, it will call a URL and in that URL you can, uh, for example, turn a Shelly relay on and off. So let's see how it looks like. So let's say this, uh, there is a fan which is connected to a Shelly relay. So we want to create a webhook when the Shelly relay, so the fan should turn on and this should be running 24 seven. So there is no active uh, story start and end time. And I want this to trigger if the temperature is greater than, let's say, 30 degrees. And then you type the URL here. I mean, I don't want to type anything here at the moment because, I mean, I explained this, how this URL looks like uh, in all the other videos when I talked about the, you know, the 2 p.m. or the 2.5, the 1 p.m. and, you know, Sherry Plus. So you can uh, watch these or go to the documentation how you construct the URL for a specific Shelly device. But you can also, for example, do a temperature change. So if the temperature changes, then it can call another URL. So you can easily integrate this with anything that can um, you know, receive uh, data over a simple HTTP call. And as you can see, you can put the temperature and the humidity into the um, URL as variable so you can easily create uh, like a get request and uh, talk to other devices. So uh, it's fairly easy to do and obviously you can create multiple webhooks. But if you don't want to mess with URLs you can create a scene as well and um, that's going to be just um, the same thing but within the Shelly app and that's all going to be handled in the cloud. So I can let's say that the um, I want to turn the fan on and I'm going to select this image that's good enough and then when a condition so I can see a trigger based condition and I select the test rule and I select the plus H and T and again I have pretty much the same options here so when the temperature is more than let's say 30 degrees and I don't want to use the humidity I don't want to use the battery and uh, repeatedly, oh, sorry. Um, well, repeatedly means that it will trigger every time the temperature is above 30 degrees. So maybe we can use repeatedly as well. And then we can save this con condition. I must have, yeah, and that's it. And save. And then in the do action, I can send, select the device. And now you would be able to select a as I said, a Shelly 2.5, Shelly 1, Shelly 1 p.m., which is connected to a fan, so that fan turns on. And I say you should be because I can't, uh, <laughs> because all my other Shelly devices are turned off at the moment. Uh, 
I have been moving them from the demo panel so, and to different places and I just realized that I haven't finished the wiring so all of them are disconnected at the moment. But this is an easy way to create an automation the same way where um, how I've explained in the webhooks but this is all lives in the cloud and you don't have to remember URLs you just do click 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 here and then it gets saved. So I think this would be my review of the Shelly Plus h and I think I will play with this device in the future so you can see this appearing in future videos as well. If you are interested in this device, I'm going to leave purchasing links in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.